In this video, we're going to be finishing off the categories functionality. We're going to allow the user to filter articles by categories, be able to view a cat articles, as well as the ability to use enums in our code as well. So let's take a look at what we're doing. Grab your favorite coding beverage and let's get started. All right, let's go ahead and create a category page as well. So we have inside our LiveWire resources folder pages here. So let's go ahead and say PHP Artisan make LiveWire pages category. And in here, we just want to have a very similar set of circumstances in this case the article page so we could go ahead and even leave this out for now but if you want to you could go ahead and add comments and here we want to have category and we want to get the title so if we go into wire content you can see we have in here we have the ability to get a title content slot The ID so we can do exactly the same we did in the article page here. So we can go in and basically just pass through these two if we haven't already done that. So we have already got the user, so let's go ahead and just get rid of the user part here. So with that sorted, we now have the ability to essentially grab an image inside the category page as we could. And what we could go ahead and do, if you want to, you could go ahead and find any articles related to that category. So let's go ahead and add in here, similar as we did in the article page. Let's just add these two here. And in here, we could then add all the articles there. So inside the category model, we can then say public function articles. And in this case, we can't actually just go ahead and say, well, we can say they have many articles, but we can't just do it if we had, for example, um, well, as many comments, because we are using, in this case, uh, article category table here. So we need to change this around a bit, but let's go ahead and implement that. So in here, we actually want to say belongs to many. And let's go ahead and get rid of this use import statement. And in here, let's go ahead and essentially just return it based on this belongs to many. And we want to go in here and say article class. We want to specify the table though. And in this case, it's going to be article category given our table here, article category. So let's go into our categories. Print our, in this case, category articles and set this to true. And let's head into web.php. In here, we can go ahead and say categories. Category slug. Let me just want to go ahead and import the category page here. We want to make sure inside the category model we so we import the model here. Let's just make sure we are importing the page and inside the page, we want to make sure that we have this specified as new and just like we did specify the layout. And then say public 
category model category and let me just say use category as so let's go in now to our page here And there we go. So we have all of these articles listed through in here. So if we go back into the category page here, let's go in and say for each as article. And let's just pass through the article here. And there you go. We can see all the articles related to a category now. So you could now go ahead and essentially create a card in here. So we could call this um basically just use the article card so if we go back into our home page in and we may actually not need this here let's see how it looks first though okay what if we go ahead and just basically copy the home page here And then just say category articles. There we go. So only other thing I want to make sure of in here is that in this case, let's go ahead and put this in here. This looks a bit better. So again, you could do this. You, it's up to you if you want to do it. I just think it's nice to at least see what articles are related to this. So this is a really nice see what articles is written under each category. And outside of that, I think that's everything we really need for the category page because we now have the ability to display quite a lot of content. We can display multiple articles below here. Although I want to go ahead and say space. Actually, we want to say space Y3, but space X3. Actually, let's leave that out, but we will go ahead and essentially we could add some more spacing if you want to. It's really up to you how you want to do it here. Do now is essentially for this batch here let's go ahead and make sure that we link this inside an anchor tag so you're going to say route category dot show pass through the category wire navigate and there we go so now we're just able to switch between these super easily. So that's essentially how we can have the categories fully functioning and relating to each other. So I think that's everything we need for the category and article functionality for now. We'll go ahead and extend on that further on. So let's go ahead and look at how we can improve the app. We have gotten so far that we can display articles and also categories really neatly so inside our category resource we are displaying all the things we want to display but i think we should go ahead and make some filters as well in here and we could do the same thing in here as well for the articles page so let's go ahead and take a look at how we can do that now. to start with i want to go into the filters part here and we're going to go ahead in here and make in this case uh Select filter, make categories. In this case, we want to go in and say multiple. We want to go in and say relationship categories. So 
to a new line just to make it a bit more readable. We also want to make this searchable. So if we now head back in here, You can now see that if I type anything here, such as select multiple categories here as a filter, which is pretty easy to do, but also a super nice filter to have. On top of that, so inside the create articles table, we do have the ability to set in the media ID. We also want to have things such as is featured later on. But for now, one of the things that, well, is the fact that we could set in a status for it and we could add in soft delete. So I'm going to go ahead and create a migration here. Add extra info to articles table. There we go. And say table timestamp deleted at. We're also gonna have so deleted at sorry. We're also gonna have in here um in this case just we could either go with enums for the status of the article. So we could have article here basically and then create an enum. All of these needs to be nullable. So let's go ahead and say PHP artisan make enum article status. And then let's head into our enums file. In here, we just want to have, um, let's say we want to have a few cases here. So we want to have, in this case, the ability to set in graph. So we want to set the const here, and then we could have one in here called, let's call this, in this case, we could call this um, public called um, deleted. It's up to you really, but I'm just going to go with these two for now. So publish and draft. And so we want to call this case, sorry. So if we go back in here and say case, and we want to have this as a string. And then we want to head into our article model. Take the cast. And here we want to have, I think we just decided to call this status. And that's going to be set to article status class. And then we can go in here and we can just say new enum uh, not even new enum, we can just say I think we should just be able to say article status cases. So let's go ahead and migrate this and see what that. So yeah, no, this is uh, not the cases one we want to use here. So we want to go ahead and see if we can add these in here. So 
so in here, what we want to go ahead and do is we want to create a public function and let's go ahead in here and call that values. This is going to be an array. In here, we're just going to return array colon self cases with value. So let's go in here now and see if we can say values. And this needs to be a static function as well. There we go. So let's take a look in the day space. We now have status. And if we go into the structure here, we should be able to see that this isn't um, giving us the full list here. So I think if we go in, try this out now, I don't think actually this was sufficient. It does look like it complains if we don't use, in this case, for example, publish. It should be working fine, which is great. So let's go back in here now and in here, let's make sure we're just importing this enum instead. Table drop column. And in this case, we just want to say delete add and status. And then inside the filters, we just want to go ahead and say trash filter make. Let's open up article resource again. Those two filters as well. 